We'll send it back out now to Storm Team 4 to 4 meteorologist Gunnar Console. He's tracking the latest for us. Gunnar, it's been a wild weekend weather-wise. What's in store for next week? Yeah, so next week we'll be seeing some fair weather, but let's just, since it's the topic of the hour, talk about a potential area of de development. This is the same area that spun up Helene in the Caribbean and the Gulf. It has a 50% chance of development. So I am sure folks down south are keeping close attention to here. We also have a new tropical depression. It doesn't have a name yet, so it's just given the number 12, and that's that low pressure there. And it could head into the lesser Antilles of the Caribbean, but we'll keep an eye on the tropics, especially if they have any impacts for the tri-state like Helene did, like Francine had, and even Beryl. Right now, we're dealing with a quiet night, not breezy, not wet. It's kind of nice to see some drier skies out there. 70 degrees. The dew point is a little muggy, though. So right now, one thing we can expect is as the temperatures drop, if you don't understand the dew point, all you need to know is it basically tells us how comfortable the air is. You know the higher the dew point, the more humid it feels. But also, it's literally the point that dew forms. So as this temperature drops and gets closer to 66 degrees, we'll see dew forming on the grass, we'll see fog forming. So as that air temperature drops to that dew point, that's when we can expect some fog and wet grass. So when would we reach the dew point? Well, we would get close, right around 4 a.m. That's when fog would start forming in isolated areas. So patchy fog, expected for tonight as we reach the dew point, the point dew forms. But we are going to be seeing some of that fog lingering through the morning, so that bus stop may be a little bit of a whiteout, depending on where you are. But temperature is 66 degrees right at the dew point. But then we're going to warm up through the day tomorrow a little bit, 75 degrees, and we'll actually expect some peaks of sunshine through the shroud of clouds that we've basically dealt with the past couple of days. So things will be a little bit sunnier when the kids are heading home, but we will still see an isolated shower and drizzle as we go from tomorrow afternoon to tomorrow evening. We're not tracking that much rain activity. You can see just the lightest bit of green. I don't even expect much of this will pop up, but there still is the chance even as we head towards nightfall. And you can still see things are still kind of doing that rotation around what was the low of Helene. So very stubborn pattern, doesn't want to move, but we'll finally have a cold front push through that'll push the remnants out. And that cold front will move in Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night and could bring us our first 40s and 50s of the year. Well, not of the year, I must have said, since September began. So it's really the first time in a while that we've seen it, second time this fall. And you can see slight chance of showers, but once we get rid of that cloud cover and showeriness, once that cold front moves through Tuesday night, nothing but abundant sunshine, and it looks like that pattern will hold, and we'll see that sunshine continuing into our fall festival week.